everyone, I'm Kareem Antonio Jackson. I'm here live in the Philippines. I just want to give a shout out to all of my fantastic fans. I thank you for all of your messages. I'm here again. I'm going to excuse the noise ahead of time. I just stopped what I was doing actually here to produce this video for you really quick to kind of talk to you about something that I want you to understand. I get tons of emails and of course messages from everyone on the fan page, everyone around me that sees me traveling. I travel the world and I write. I work on my laptop. I'm, I'm living my dream. It's not easy, but I live my dream. I want to tell you something when you write me everything and you admire and you're always asking there's one question how did you do it how do you do it let me tell you one thing the big thing right now is you need to shed the shit for real if you want to get something you got to shed all that shit around you all that crap you got to shed it they call them entrapments of wealth and i was a victim of it for many many years as my family as well as well too any of you who knew me knew that i had a lot of shit all around me cars clothes traveling um, locally just for the fun of it, just to get away from the house, going out, drinking, jamming with your friends. You gotta shed all that crap to get what you have, what you really want, to have what I have. Because that's what I had to do. I couldn't continue doing what I was doing. So if I give you any advice at all, we wonder how am I here, how am I doing this, how am I able to enjoy another country, how am I able to travel around, it's not easy. I'm not rich, as you say from before, but let me tell you one thing I don't have. I don't have all that crap. I don't have a false sense of myself anymore. And you can have the same thing. You can get through life and not have any of that crap anymore if you want. You can really achieve that. I'm happy. You know why I'm happy? Because all the things I do not have, that's why I'm happy. I don't have the stress. I don't have 3,000 square foot house anymore. I don't have credit card debt anymore. I don't have any of those things anymore. That's why I'm happy. It's not because of what I have. That's the false sense of reality that we get right there. We talked about that earlier in the success myth. Is that you think that the things that you have are what makes you happy? So you ask me, Kareem, how are you so happy now? How are you achieving that? Because I shed all my shit. I got rid of it. I physically made up my mind and I really went through and got rid of it. Just to find out who I really was. I can always get it back. But I never knew who I was. And that was where I really found the true happiness. That's where you can find it. If you're listening to this, you, you, you already are thinking about it or you wouldn't be listening to this. So I tell you, what's, what's, what's the crap for you? What is it? What, what is it in your head? If you think about it, if you take your paycheck at the end of the month or the end of the two weeks or whatever the week, whatever it is, when you make that money and then you pay all those bills you have and whatever you have left, if there's anything, that's your true wealth. So if you didn't have any of that crap, how much money would you have? How much would you need to work? If you didn't have that burden, then would you need to work 40 hours a week, 50 hours a week? Would you need to neglect your kids? Would you neglect your wife, your husband? Would you neglect your health? If you didn't have all that crap to worry about, what would you do? That's what I want to learn. So when you write me and you see me, you are appreciative of what I'm doing and you're asking me how do I do it, how I did it is I consciously made the decision to get rid of all the crap around me. I shed all the shit in my life. Weak friends, some bad situations, I shed material things, I got rid of everything. I figured it out, it took me 10 years, I've told you in other tapes that I've had, 10 years to figure it out, to get rid of it, and everyone was against me. They thought I was crazy, of course, it looked kind of crazy. Or they thought I was going to commit suicide. They thought I was going to kill myself because I'm getting rid of all my shit, right? So you must be getting rid of all your crap because you must want to die. No, I wanted to live. That's why I got rid of it. So you have to go get it for yourself. The truth is the fear. Fear is deadly. The fear of what are they going to think about when I don't have it. Fear of what are they going to say about it if I don't have the shoes. The fear of, oh my God, what if I don't have this house? What are they going to say about me? The fear. The fact of, oh, okay, it's my career, it's my culture, it's my tradition, it's my family. But at the end of the day, you are the one suffering. You're the one who's going through life stressed out. I'm sitting here in the hot, tropical sun. It's beautiful. And I, 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 I've got fresh <laughs> coconuts outside. It's not success for everyone. But for me, I wanted that. I wanted the natural. I wanted to see how life was for everyone else. I couldn't experience this stuck in that big house with those big cars, with that big crap around me. I could never leave. I hadn't had a vacation in 20 years. A vacation. I mean, I may have went out of town on a business trip and had a good time while I was there, but a vacation where I went, never did it. I've never been sick to work. 
I've never called in for years and years and years. So I don't care what they say. And you shouldn't care what they say either. If you want it, you need to go and get it. Shed all that crap. Get rid of it. Don't have it where it locks you in to where you don't know why you're working. If you didn't have all that stuff, then maybe you could work three days a week, two days a week. Maybe you could do the job you really love. If you didn't have all those entrapments of wealth all around you. When it comes down to it, like I said, the cash you have after you pay all your bills, that is your true wealth. And if you take all your expenses, you take everything and you take it away, what you have after that is also what you have. So truth, if you're going to be broke, you might as well be broke on your own terms. Don't be broke on their terms, living the way they want you to live. And that's the difference of what I wanted to do. That's the difference of what I did. So I tell you, go out today. You look at all your stuff. You look in that closet. You look in that car. And you think, what do you really need? I have friends of mine who have garages, American size, two-car garages, full of shit they don't use with the price tags on them. That's their kids' inheritance, that's their retirement, that's what their, their livelihood, that's their happiness, sitting in the garage, not being used. I'll tell you, that's normal. That's normal. But when you really think about it, when you shed everything, that's when you can really be, be, be happy. That's when you can really, I'm sorry, it's, it's hot. <laughs> but I love it. I'm able to be in the tropics, travel around. My dream with my life was to be able to travel around and write about what I saw, to write about lifestyle, to enjoy it. I knew that I couldn't afford to be a writer living and struggling in Los Angeles. I couldn't do it. My rent was $2,000 a month. My car payment was $800 a month. I worked 40 hours a week just to pay the bills. So I had to work another 20 hours a week to pursue my dream. I said, Jesus Christ. Let's flip that around. I'm working 40 hours a week if I want on what I want to do. I work a few hours a week to pay the rent. I had to travel around and do it, and I never thought, well, how am I gonna do it? Who am I gonna do it with? I was alone. But I guarantee you, if you look in that closet, I'm gonna say it again, I'm gonna repeat it because it's worth hearing again. If you look in that closet, look at the car, look at your crap, and you say, how much money is that? How much money do I spend every day, every week, every month because I'm not happy? And when you shed that shit that you've got in your life, and whether it's people, whether it's things, whether it's time, then you can live in a place like this. You can do whatever you want. You have more time for your kids. I'm here candidly again. I'm outside. I'm not doing this for the staff. I'm doing it because I've been thinking about it for a long time. I've got a, my new book just came out. Um, I showcase Philippine artists and tattoo lifestyle. I'm working on my next six books. Um, these are Mac books, by the way. And I, I'm, I've been getting a lot of emails and everyone congratulating me. Oh my God, they're asking me, how can you do it? Many Americans that I know, they're coming to visit me this year. They're coming to see me. They're, they're venturing out. How do you achieve it? Because I know they're unhappy. Because remember, I was there. I know these people. I know the lifestyle, and they're asking me the same question over again. How do I do what you do? How do I get my life the way you've got it? How did you do that, Kareem? And you know what I say? Shed the shit. I'm Kareem, and, I'm Kareem Antonio Jackson, and again, I want you to understand that success is for everyone. You just need to take the time, focus on yourself, what you want, go inside and figure out what that is for you. And you know what, for me, the first thing I did was shed all that shit.